video, we're going to talk about binning and we're going to talk about both numeric binning and categorical binning. So it's like moving a moving a label binning back to numerics or moving numeric continuous data back to labels. And I've talked about some of this in previous videos before, but in this video, I'm going to bring it all together. So this is your one stop shop for binning, essentially. So the first thing I'm going to do is import the data set. This um, notebook's available on uh, on GitHub. The link's down below, and it should run exactly the same because the data is coming off GitHub itself. So let's just look at this data set. Uh, I think I've used it before in another video. So this is a math score, reading score, and writing score data set based on a couple of categorical variables. So it's used really for regression. Um, so we're trying to predict scores from some of the other columns. Um, but today we're just going to use it to demonstrate some binning. So the first thing I'm going to do is there's a couple of spaces in some of these um, in some of these columns. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the columns. I normally what I would do is I would just take the columns, I'd copy in the list, and then I'd rename the columns to uh, names without spaces just to make this a bit easier down below. So I'm just doing that in there and I have my data set here. So we're really going to be looking at the parental edu. So this is the parental level of education and we're also going to be looking at reading score. So I'm trying to convert this to numerics or convert it to something ranked and then I'm trying to convert uh, this reading score to labels. So the first thing I'm going to have a look at my value counts of my parents' education level. So we have um, a couple of categories in here. I think there's six in total. And these have an ordinal structure, which means they can be ranked from lowest to highest. So the first thing I'm going to do is if we didn't want to have any rank in this, but we still wanted to convert it to numerics uh, to encode it for a a data science algorithm what we do is we use a pd.getdummies and the pd.getdummies what it does it'll take this column here and move it into kind of a, a one hot encoding so it creates one column into six columns and it will just put a one in the column and um, that your category is so this zero was a bachelor's degree so it's here this one is some college so there's a one here so that's just if you don't want an ordinal structure. If you want an ordinal structure, use something called pd.categorical. So what this does, and I'll just separate this to show you that this is the code on its own to do what we need to do here. So this is df uh, parental edu equals pd.categorical. And we're also using the original df.parentedu and we're putting ordered equals through. And then we're setting the categories lowest to highest. So some high school is the lowest, high school, some college associates degree, bachelor's degree, then master's degree. And just to give you an idea of things that you can run off this categorical type, um, when we've set that, we can pull out what the min is. So pd.parentledu.min, and that comes out with the some high school and the max is master's degree here. And the actual data set itself, so this is the output of this df.parentedu, is a 1000 points and you have the um rank from some high school all the way up to master's degree and if you want to change this to a categorical you could just say uh, df parent edu equals parental edu dot cat dot codes and this just sets it to its numeric value so with everything in python let's start at zero so bachelor's degree is the fifth in our list, but that is four because some high school will be zero. So you can see from this here, bachelor's degree is four. Some college is two, which is three because it starts at zero and master's degree is five. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to change a continuous value into a categorical value. And how we'll do this is first thing I just want to have a look at the distribution. So there's a couple of ways you can do this. Um, you can either bin it by an equal width, which will which this is I think it goes from 16 to 100. So we're going to cut this distribution in three, and this is equi width binning. And so firstly we set labels equal to low average high, and then we can do a pd dot cut. And we take this df dot reading column bins equals three and labels equals labels so labels equal this low average high 
and then let's have a look at what comes out of this so we got 514 average 433 high and 53 low so it's essentially split this into three and you can see from the distribution that there's very little in going to be in the low category here a good few in the medium category and a decent amount in the high category here if this seems like uh, too uneven of a distribution what we can do is we can do something called a quantile cut but first let's just give a look at the mean of each of these buckets uh, so we can compare it to the quantile cut later so the reading rank which is what we've created here is a a low of 37.62 so that's the mean of this would be somewhere around here 37.62 the mean of the average is about 61 so it's going to be somewhere around here and the mean of the high is 82 so it's going to be somewhere around here so the other option to do is to do a equi depth binning so what that means is that we're cutting up by density so we're going to have a uh, we're going to have a similar number in each the low medium and high buckets and it cuts it into density so essentially what it'll do is it'll smooth out all of this and it will take a larger a larger width bucket for this so this gets in a third of the points it'll take a shorter width bucket for this and a shorter width bucket for this so to give you a look at what comes out of this we have a similar number in low average high 341 340 and 319 and just to give you means of all these data points uh, we've got 53 as the mean of low compared to 37 so quite important if you want an equal number in each of the buckets we've got 70 compared to 61 and very close for the high we got 85 compared to 82 so that was just a kind of a whistle stop tour of binning and um, there may be another few things we can do in here but just to get started then this is how to turn a category into numerics and how to turn numerics into a category um, and it really depends on what machine learning algorithm you're using uh, sometimes some algorithms don't take categorical don't take text you need to change it to a number somehow or an ordinal number and then something like a decision tree if you're doing some classification uh, prefers categories then a large range of values where you could lose um you could lose some of the value of the uh, pattern due to a, a too large uh, width of dimensionality so i hope you found this video useful any questions please ask down below and i'll see you very soon for another python tutorial